my name is Kenya. Um, how many people like to travel? Good, good, good. Um, I do, and then I don't, because I get homesick really fast. I'm, uh, I'm one of those people that can just keep going for a, not even a whole day, and I'm ready to go home. But um, traveling to Africa, you have to get a series of vaccinations that have to be, you have to get them 10 days prior before you leave, and it takes you 22 hours and four minutes to get to Africa, so it's like two days. Um, I'm going to be talking about the African jury, some that I have and others that I don't have, and how it, um, how it was made and what it symbolizes and how I relate to the culture. Um, this is not some of the jury that was made in Africa, but um, my cousin, she, when she graduated high school, she, I mean college, she knew that she wanted to go into the Peace Corps. She said that that was something she wanted to do. She wanted to give back to her people, as she said, in Africa. So when she went to the Peace Corps, she was saying how the best part about it was watching the men, women, and children make their jewelry. And their jewelry symbolized um, their society, their how they tr do certain trade, and their beliefs, and also, um, sorry, and then a symbol of power. Um, the jewelry was also made by women, men, and children, like I said, and also worn by men, women, and children. And uh, it was a certain type of jewelry that she saw a lot of women wearing. She always questioned, like, why? What is that shape little thing that all these women are wearing? And it was always a sign of fertility. And so she tried to stay away. She was like, oh, I don't want to wear that. I'm good. She wore everything else but that one. She was like, no, I don't want to wear that one. But um, the jewelry was made out of um, animal bones, animal teeth, animal hair, mostly organic things, um, eggshells, seashells, land shells, and stones. And um, Let's see, I talked about how it was made and what it symbolized. Uh, for me, I wear the jewelry only because, not, I don't want to say only because, I wear it because I like it and I like what it means. For example, um, this is an Ankh, it's an Egyptian cross. Um, it's supposed to be the man at the top and then the woman supports the body at the bottom. And it's supposed to be an Egyptian cross symbolizing eternal life. So I wear it because I do believe in God and also I just feel like it gets me a step closer. And I liked it so much I even got it kind of tattooed, but that's a different cultural artifact too. But um, I also have the African earrings because my name is Kenya. And I heard it's one of the kind of decent, pretty looking places in Africa. But um, I wear the earrings that symbolize Africa because I feel that it gets me a little step closer to my ethnic background. and. I support the way that they all struggle to get it and pass another day and also just the fact that they just thought of, oh, these teeth and these animals, that would be nice for a necklace, that would be nice for a bracelet, but who would think of something like that? So um, I talked about how it relates to me, how it's made, and what it symbolizes. Um, just when you travel, when you go somewhere, try to bring something back from where you went, just to not symbolize that you went there, but get something like that meant something to the people there and also how I can relate to you. So, thank you. <laughs>